Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm actually in front of my house right now and I'm gonna give you a tour, but it's not gonna be a tour in the current state that it's in. It's gonna be a tour that I did prior to our closing on the house. I wanted to do that because I really wanted you to see where the house was at that time and it was in a very unfinished state. So I will lead you through that right after this and show you kind of what that's about. But first I wanna show you the house itself. So let me just turn the camera around and I'll show you um, kind of little details about the outside of the house and then we'll go on the tour. Okay, so these houses are kind of like row houses. They're technically single family homes, believe it or not, but they're adjacent to each other. So you'll see there's the one on the end. There's a little bit of space between ours and the other neighbor. And then this is our spot here. Uh, has some kind of temporary shades up in the window. There's Jack's on his little patio. But essentially they're kind of like row houses in New York if you want to think of it that way. But of course we had to pay more because they're considered single family. Whatever. Um, but look how tall. So it's crazy tall all the way up. There is no rooftop patio. Everybody asked me about that. There's a patio on the back. I'll show you later, but there's no rooftop patio. But they're really, really tall. A lot of space, a lot of stairs. Um, I get a little exhausted climbing all the stairs and I have to carry this one up and down the stairs. So a lot of things are gonna happen. The exterior can't really change. The only thing I'm gonna change on the exterior is actually this patio. We're gonna do a little revision of this with some patio pavers and we can touch up the, uh, the shrubs as well so we'll fix all that but Jax is pretty happy with it because he can come out and smell so this is a little preview of the exterior I hate that electrical panel right there it really drives me bananas I'm not sure why somebody thought it was a good idea to put that there but I'm going to fix it by doing some sort of living greenery wall there um, stay tuned for that so there's the there's a gist of everything and uh, I want you to see just sort of what we're working with and then keep watching because here comes the videos that I did before we moved in. Now keep in mind, these videos that I did before we moved in, they're actually done, I was kind of speaking randomly. So some of the things I say are not gonna happen and some of the things I say are gonna happen. So basically it's just a mixture of me uh, reacting to the rooms as we walk into the spaces. But you'll, you, I'll point out the ones that aren't gonna happen. And then of course the times where um, you get to vote. So Jax is pretty happy, right Jax? Yeah. All right, come on inside. Okay, so here we are upstairs, and as you can see, it's a totally empty house. Nothing's here yet, except for just the walls, of course, and the stair rails. But this is letting you guys in on the process before we get going. So take a look around. I'm gonna show you the space that we're standing in now. I'm up in the mezzanine area now, and this overlooks the living area. Kind of, I'm, I love the arrangement of the windows. I think, well, I love the volume of the ceiling, of course, but I like the arrangement of the windows. I think it's very unexpected and cool, and I like the different sizes. And then there's a little mountain view right off that window. Um, so this is the mezzanine with the industrial stairwell. Going soon, of course. Um, I'm going to replace the sconces, take them down completely. There's another one down there. Uh, don't know why that was hung so high, but we'll figure it out. Um, and then this is the little patio area. I'm gonna put some fencing around that to hide that. I'm sure that's a problem a lot of you have. And then I'll put some shrubbery to hide the neighbor, but you know, there's a cool mountain view. That's the Hollywood Hills. And it's so funny, our current house is actually right there. So we're almost a stone's throw away from where we currently lived before, but uh, get a bigger space and I'll take you back inside. The pet peeve of mine is the color temperature of lighting here. These look like they're about 2700 K, which means they have like a warmer, softer glow to them. And I don't really like that. I like them to be about 4000 K to where the light is really kind of clear and crisp. So I will change out all the trim kits on the, on the lights. And there's a lot of them. Oh, look at that. So there's actually a junction box there so I can hang a big chandelier to go down. 